How do you approach being a leader? Do you rely more on the skills you've developed or on your behavioral instincts? These two approaches to leadership are called the skills approach and the style approach. The skills approach to leadership focuses on a set of skills and abilities that you need to become a successful leader. The great thing is, skills can often be learned and developed through training and experience. So, what skills do high-performing leaders possess? To answer this, you must understand a potential leader's capabilities. Capabilities are the combination of knowledge and skills that an individual can use to develop and enhance an organization. Individuals who have more experiences generally have more capabilities. Both the longevity and the variety of experience have value when an organization is evaluating a leader's capabilities. Now, compare this to the style approach to leadership, which focuses on the instinctual behavior of the leader. What will the leader naturally do in various situations? Generally, there are two kinds of behaviors that are evaluated within the style approach. Task behaviors, which are focused on goals and accomplishments of the organization, and relationship behaviors, which are focused on how the leader interacts with others in the organization. When evaluating a leader's style approach, ask yourself these two questions. What is the leader's concern for productivity? And what level of concern does the leader have for people? The answers to these questions may give you an idea of the style that motivates someone in a leadership position and allow you to predict a leader's behavior. Go higher, Concordia University, Nebraska.